Hi guys, it's been a long while. Um, I've been, I don't know, busy as heck, trying to balance uh, work life, home life, spiritual life, school life. Um, kind of difficult. So, anyways, as you can see, I have a bunch of decks that I have not um, even been able to open yet. Um, I did, however, open this one. This is what I'm going to show you today. It is the Game of Thrones Tarot. Because of the season finale, I don't know if it's going to... No, of course it's not going to... Focus. Um... So with that season finale of Game of Thrones, hopefully you guys are into that, maybe. Um, I thought I would get this and show you guys um, an unboxing unbox of sorts. And I'm not gonna go through my whole ritual, I guess, of opening the cards and praying over there before I start using them, but I am going to um, cleanse the space a little bit and I'm going to cleanse the deck at least before I start putting my hands all over them. So I usually want to do the box, like the container. If you're not going to keep the container then maybe you don't need to do that. But I like smudging the box, and I also like smudging all the cards. Okay, so it's totally not going to focus, guys. I apologize. I shut up. So, um, the fool is Tyrion. Anyways, um, let's see. You can see this little bit anyway. Um, the guidebook is like a little book. <laughs> a little binded book. It's so cute. So cute. So the guidebook by Liz Dean. Um, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I love this so far, this tiny little book. So cute. So here are the cards. Let's go. You can see that. You may not be able to. I need to get more light in here. Um, I'm still doing this by trial and error, guys. I just bought a microphone today. And it is sitting on top of the camera, so hopefully that will help with my voice, I guess. Um, so I'm going to do this a little bit. I always make sure to smudge the cards really good. Really good. Got any baddies off of them and from like production or anyone who handled them whatnot before. Um this is the back of the cards. It's the swords. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Um Standing in the light in her room. Okay, so let's see. The fool, the magician, oh my god. Little finger, I hate that guy. <laughs> the priestess, of course, is the red witch, right? The empress. 
at Daenerys or Khaleesi. The Emperor is Jon Snow. Of course, right? Because that's how it ends. The Emperor and the Empress. The Hierophant. The Lovers, of course. <laughs> I love it. So far, I love this. The Chariot is one of the dragons. That's great. That's awesome. Strength, Brienne, of course. The Hermit is Bran. The Wheel, cool. Justice. And Stark, Rob Stark. The Hanged Man. The Hanged Man has no skin, apparently. Is that stand for Theon, kind of, possibly? Death, of course, Arya is the Death Guard. Temperance, aw, Tarly. Devil, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely the devil. Uh, tower, star, the moon, the sun, judgment. This is great, I can't wait to use these cards. Ace of Spears, two of Spears, the Empress waiting or looking out there. Three of Spears, so oh, Spears instead of Arrows guys, that's cool. too small to hold all these cards. Knight of Spears, Jamie Lannister. Hmm. Cups. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's like the binding ceremony. The father smith warrior, mother maiden crone. Stranger I am. And I can't read it. I think it's supposed to say I am her something. Or I am his. Oh, I am his and he is mine. From the day until the end of my days. Two of cups. That's beautiful. Love that. Three of Cups. Wine, wine, wine. Well. Whose hands are those? I don't know. Four of Cups. That's Sansa and Littlefinger, I think. He's offering her his cup. Um, Five of Cups, Cersei has some um, spilled cups. Six of Cups, John Stone, Sansa, possibly. Seven of Cups. Bran and all his decisions and choices. Eight of Cups. I love that. That's perfect. Uh, I love this deck. Page of Cups. That's great. Aw, that's when Sansa was praying. King of Cups. He doesn't know anything. Except that the winner's coming. Eight of Swords. Two of Swords. Oh, that's good. Really, really good. This is 
right? And oh, the Ace of Swords. That is Jon Snow's hand because that is his sword with the hoof on it. Yeah. Okay, the Three of Swords. is and I can't remember if you know let me know down below I think that's brown can't remember what's going on here so I'm in the process of re-watching the Game of Thrones right now we're on season three I think um after finishing the end, um, I thought I needed to go back and kind of refresh. And I'm glad I did. Uh, it's a really good show. If you haven't seen it yet, or you've heard everything about it, you hate it, I don't know. I, I really enjoy it. I love the costumes and the, I don't know, everything in it. Everything about it, it's just really great. The stories are really, good. Check it out if you haven't. Swords, of course, Cersei, and the King of Swords, of course, <laughs> the Night King, right? Ace of Coins, love it. And the coins are the Lannister always pays his debts. <laughs> That's great. The so Lannister coins. Coins. Sorry guys, I don't mean to give you like dead air. I'm just trying to go through all of these real quick. So you guys can get a feel for them. I don't even know if you can see them at the time. My apologies. Age of Coins. Love it. The Knight of Coins is pretty sure that's Brienne. She finally got knighted at the end. Queen of Coins, that's cool. <laughs> I'm glad she made this deck. And the King of Coins, of course. Little finger. <laughs> that's great. So let me see if I can read you a little bit, see what it says. Okay. Well, kind of know about the, about tarot anyway. Okay, I'm gonna read it anyway. Created in 15th century Italy, tarot was first used to play card games and commemorate royal occasions. By the late 18th century, however, the cards had become a tool for divination. Today, tar tarot continues, or tarot, or I don't know, people say it all different. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I just say tarot, I don't know. Today, tarot continues to illuminate our past, present, and future with its enduring popularity due to the card's arch archetypal imagery. All the many decks and many diverse representations of the cards tap into the realm of universal archetypes. From the priestess to the hero, the mother to the hermit, archetypes are the foundation of every great tale. The Game of Thrones is an outstanding story, a rich weave. 
mythically proportional proportioned Game of Thrones boasts more than 60 hours of masterful visual storytelling. From the icy landscapes beyond the wall to the hot deserts of Dorne, the world of Game of Thrones is replete with symbolism, an abundant source for a new tarot deck. The creative team behind this deck dug deep into these two worlds to find the overlapping characters, story arcs, and symbolism. We intertwine them into a unique tarot that evokes the vivid dramas of Game of Thrones while offering each rich oracular cues for the serious tarot reader. By bringing this epic saga into our hand-drawn cards, we have created a deck that honors the tradition of tarot and our favorite television drama. I really loved this. That's great. I think they really did a good job. Um, the cards feel good, like um, more like a like playing cards uh, material. They're quite pliable. They're not hard, but they're not like crazy overly slippery either. If that makes any sense. And I really like the box. I am a sucker for boxes, so I always keep mine. Even though um, I might not keep the cards in the actual box itself all the time. Um, That's my sucker punch that I made last week. Finally. But let's see how these shuffle. Very nice. Very nice. So I'm not going to try to bang these on the table. Make too much noise with the new microphone. Let's see how it goes. But these feel really good, guys. Um, I'm going to use these for some upcoming readings. Um, I still need to do my little ritual that I do with my new cards. I'm going to do that on here right now, but I just wanted to see how they shuffle, and I'm digging it. I'm really digging this deck. So, let's see. What do I do? Give this, give this deck five out of five stars for swords. I love it. So far, so good. So next video, I'll do. Maybe I'll try to get some cards out for you guys. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Um, if you'd like to see. Anything in particular, maybe a deck that you'd like to see that I might have missed and should purchase to share with you guys, um, let me know down below. If you enjoyed this unboxing, let me know. Give it a like, a thumbs up, if you will. And, um,. That's it. Thanks for sitting with me for a second, guys.